Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and I'm right in the middle of finishing up this Fire Engine Red Macanudo Inspirado. Um, and I was doing the hinge and I wanted to show you my little uh, setup there. So I, so I get these shutter hinges that comes with the kit. And these are the, the normal hinges, and these are the shutters, shutter hinges. So, check this out. Huh. All right, so these are the shutter hinges. Sometimes I wrap this around the back, but on these, just, on these normal hinges, there's only two holes on either side. And as you know, we build a three-string cigar box guitar, so I need another hole in the center. So, now I'm going to do this job over there. But first, I wanted to show you my new hat. Isn't that awesome? So, but for the next job, because it is dangerous, very dangerous, I'm going to wear my, my hard hat. My safety goggles. Where's my safety goggles? All right, so here, I'm going to set you up over here now. All right, I cleaned it up so it's not so messy. But you can see all the metal shavings. You can see the holes that are just drilled into the top. So what I do is I get the hinge and I fold it in half. And then I get these big fat screws here and just push it through the holes. And this is just to hold it in place. Okay? That's all it is. Just to hold it in place. Because the last thing you want is for this bit to get a hold of that guy and spin that sucker like a propeller. I mean, seriously, these edges are sharp and that would be just like a, a blade. And that would be very, very, very dangerous. So, I don't just do the screws to hold it down, but also as a safety precaution to keep myself from getting cut better safe than sorry. to get a new drill bit. Ta-da! Yep, you don't want to be cutting your fingers off. You want to save your fingers for playing. And building. All right, so now, install the hinge, ground the strings, build the saddle, String it up, and then, all right, we got the strings on, and it's intonated and tuned up. The strings are stretching. A couple of things I wanted to point out. First off, so we are tuned E, B, E-ish, because the strings are stretching. And I just found out that this beer bottle is E. All right, so anyhow, um, I don't need a tuner anymore. I can just use this. So, no, but what I wanted to point out was that each one of these strings should be able to hold the weight of the CBG all by itself, okay? So you should be able to grab that string and shake this thing. Okay, you can do it for all the strings. You can do it even for the skinny strings. These are not the skinny strings, but... On a regular guitar, you could even just take that the skinny string and like even a Les Paul or a Strat or one of them real expensive guitars. Do this. People feel like, what the heck are you doing? No, these strings are strong, man. Seriously. So you can uh, stretch them out with confidence. These are the settings. No effects. Everything is straight up. So first off, the piezo.
my favorite is the middle, which is the combination between the piezo and the single coil. Wow. <laughs> teach you a cool uh, picking pattern that's going to improve your picking speed and accuracy and just uh, overall ability just by incorporating a little one simple technique. Check this out. All right, so what you're going to need for this speed picking lesson is a pick. So we are tuned EBE and uh, let's see here. Okay, so um, this is we're gonna boil it down into two simple things. One of them is a pick up and then a pick down. Up and then down. So on the pick up, it's gonna be the open string. And then when we pick down, we're gonna do a double pull off. In this case here, I'm just on the uh, third and fourth, but we're gonna do it all over the fretboard. But for this example here, we're doing a third fret and a fourth fret, or the third fret and the second fret, and it's just a double pull off where I'm going to pick the note once and pull it off twice. So it sounds like this. So again, we're going to start with an upstroke, and then a pick, double pull off. That's the way it sounds. So this is like one motion. Just gotta time that that this guy here with that second pick. So then you get into a little loop now. Now what I like to do is stomp my foot whenever I do this note here with the pick. So I go up and then stomp. That just keep, helps me keep my body in rhythm. But now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this thing all around. do is start jumping strings. And that's the same lick, I'm just switching on the strings, right? So I'm going to go down, I'm going to do this string open, and I'm going to do my pull-offs on the top string. Listen to the way this sounds. versatile little trick that you can get miles and miles and miles and miles and miles out of that thing. So practice that. Let me know how it goes. That's it. I'm gonna leave you with a little riffage. <laughs>
you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.